Hello students, so let's try to solve this problem. This is one of the beautiful problem of the atomic physics from the hydrogen atom. And basically you have to also talk about the LS coupling for one particle system or one electron system actually. The a hydrogen atom excited to electronic configuration 3s half in n l j notation. So this is very important. n is principal quantum number, s is orbital quantum number and j is the total orbital quantum number or or total angular quantum number is there. Relax to the ground state via electric dipole transition. So there is a dipole transition and we know what is the selection rule of dipole transition. Considering only fine structure and ignoring the hyperfine structure. So what do you have? The maximum number of emitted spectral line is what? So we have to calculate the maximum number of emitted spectral line. So let's try to go for and what are the different levels in the in this form nlj form so for nlj form the ground state is basically 1s so this is our 1s and so this will be 1s half this is n is equal to 1 l is equal to 0 next level is you have basically 2s so this value is also 2s half and for the 2, n is equal to 2, l is equal to 0 is also possible and l is equal to 1 is also possible. So what is going to happen? Here we have 2p is also there and it is going to split into two parts because here l is equal to 1 and s is equal to half. So j is equal to half and 3 by 2. So it is going to split into two parts. So there is 2p half as well as the next level is also for the 2p and this value is equal to 2p 3 by 2 and the highest level is given that is 2p level and highest level is given and that value is equal to 3s and I am, I am not going to scaling it because you have to just give the scaling but I am just because we have to just talk about the different lines what are the possible transition line according to selection rule we have to just talk about this one so this value is what 3s half so this is given now students what is the selection rule it's a very interesting what is the selection rule here delta l must be plus minus 1 and delta j must be 0 plus minus 1 this is our selection rule so initially my atom is in this state so obviously it cannot directly go to s state because delta l must be have plus minus half so from s it will either go to d orbital or it will sorry from s it will go to the p orbital only okay because plus minus one is there it will not go to even d orbital also so what will happen so there is one possible selection so how it is going to take the transition the transition is it will first going to take the transition from the p level and after then it will go to the ground state this is very beautiful so what is going to happen this is one possible transition and there is another possible transition this is the first level transition and after then electron have to go to this level now there is a question why electron will not go to this level 2s level it may be possible it will go to 2s level and then come no it will not go to 2s level because n is equal to 2 is there n is equal to 2 is there so n must be uh, n must be not equal to n s this is very interesting thing so n is equal to 2 to n is equal to 2 is also not allowed. So here you have to also talk about n should not equal to n s. You have different principal quantum number. Then what is going to happen? Then obviously another transition is taking place. That value from here to ground state. There is n is equal to you can 3 by 2 to 1 by half is possible. Minus 1 is the delta j. And here you can go for another transition is this one. So these four transitions, this is transition number 1, 2, 3 and 4. So there are four lines will be emitted into this particular transition. So students, it's a wonderful question. If you know the selection rule and if you know the how to write this particular splitting, then you can easily solve this question. So this one question just uh, uh, revise your all concept of LS coupling mainly into N and J notations. You have to always take care of the notation because in general this is given notation we are using 2s plus 1 Lj notation but some places we can uh, this is not needed for the hydrogen atom actually because uh, 
S is equal to always half for each and every orbital. So the here is the good quantum number is n, l and j and so why we are also in the fine structure we have seen for the hydrogen atom. What is the good quantum number? The good quantum number is n, l and j. So why we are doing this thing into the uh, for this particular hydrogen atom. So students do very deep study, try to understand the basic fundamentals then try to attempt the question. Thank you.